Hi guys, welcome to another short video by uh, Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the finds um, from this weekend's buy-in. Um, the car boot sales I attended were Splot Market in Cardiff, Best Maraud in Cardiff on Saturday, um, Regend Show, which is uh, by the police station in uh, town centre in a multi-storey car park on Sunday morning, and back to Bridgend then, uh, after that again on Sunday. Um, it's quite um, a variety here, so I'll zoom in, give you a little chat on each piece as I uh, scroll through them and hope you uh, find it interesting. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start with here is a very large Capa de Monte uh, figurine from Italy, um, circa 1970. It, as you can see it's absolutely stinking I haven't done nothing with it yet it's just come in um, I'd say it's about a foot and a half wide two foot and about the same tall it is stamped if I can just turn him over for you just to get a quick image of the mark there in Good condition, one or two little chips on the flowers, but a nice item. Um, this came in for £7. Next we had a large pair of candelabra. They're very nice. They're in silver plate. Um, probably from the 60s or 70s. But again, nice certainly grace any table. Uh, we got a very large and heavy brass kettle. It is tin lined so it could, could be used theoretically. Um, it has the lovely lion masks on the base of the handles. Um, well, in comparison to the candelabras and everything you can see the size, it's a fair size kettle. Um, that came in for a tenner. Next was a Morris enameled sign. It's probably a reproduction, um, but nevertheless, a bit of moat in memorabilia. It looked lovely on someone's wall. It was just four pounds. I have a few collector's plates then. I don't normally buy them, but they come in at a pound each. You got a nice piece of faience. Um, yeah, this one here was spode. Another piece of French porcelain and Masons, so classic uh, English pottery. Um, three of them have memorials. I do like collecting memorials, although these will be sold. Um, next piece we have here is a folding ruler. Brass mounts. But what's really nice about this one is it's from the Nissan and Volvo dealership. So, quite nice bit of... Um, Automobile collectability again. Then there's a pair of um, Stourbridge vases, um, late Victorian, early 20th century, formed as a hand holding vases with the pink and the opaque. They're pleasant. They come in at a fiver for the pair. Next, we have an absolute stunner. It's a large hand carved Buddha is carved from a single piece of wood he's heavy quite a few kilos not exactly sure on the edge he's got a bit of edge to him a little, little bit of splitting uh, about here a little split running up by here where the wood is separating it's the base there um, this beauty cost me £12. Um, I absolutely think he's a steal, he's stunning. A lot of work gone into carving him. Next, we have a beautiful little stife squirrel. Still got the button in the ear. The stife button. So, he was literally £2. So, a nice little sweet pie. Right, come on to a bit of jewellery. This is solid silver and tiger's eye, among other stones. Um, 
There's a name on the box, where are we? Must be on there. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, Cavendish French of London. Uh, necklace cost me a tenner. It's absolutely stunning. In good condition too. Um, next. <laughs> These were nice. It's a small pair of candlesticks, solid brass, from about 1920. Nice patina on the base. But they've got pixies on the stems. Never seen that before. They were a pound a stick. So two pound for the pair. Absolutely beautiful. Next we have a variety of jewellery and smalls. We have an ivory elephant. There, little pendant. Carved ivory. Uh, that came in for a pound. We have a Victorian solid silver fruit knife. It has the uh, Victoria head on the hallmarks as well. Um, that was a fiver. Solid silver elephant pendant, lovely quality. It was a pound. Silver and tur tur turquoise uh, bracelet. Looks American Indian, really pretty. It again, was a pound. Um, next, I have two cameos. Really pretty. They're solid silver mounted. Really nice, pretty ladies. They were £2 each. Um, I have a very large Mats Johansson uh, elephant paperweight. It is signed to the base. Don't know if I can capture the signature for you. You can just about see it, it is signed to the base. Um, we have probably a 1930s blue glass flapper necklace S one single strand I folded up it is a long necklace nice piece of art deco jewellery there this piece here is absolutely stunning um, it's from the island of Murano um, it's glass it's formed as a torso, female torso it's a pendant off a necklace it's uh, Millie Fiori. I've never seen one before. Um, it cost me a fiver, but it, I think that's a star. Um, just two more pieces left. It was a pair of mid-century, very heavy, large, 12-inch brass candlesticks. Did about a kilo a piece in weight. Um, and they come in for a fiver, well that's pretty much scrap on brass, so that was for nothing. And my last piece is what looks to be a Balinese lady, hand carved. It's, well you can see it's probably two and a half to three foot tall, it's from a, carved from a single piece. She is carved from a single piece of wood. And absolutely beautiful, really nice, nice features. Somebody's took a lot of time to carve her. Anyway, guys, um, that's this weekend's um, little hoard. Um, I hope you found it interesting. It's come in for less than hundred pounds for all of it. So absolutely some really nice pieces on you. Love the carvings, love the Buddha. Um, the rest of it is going to be work in stock, but the jewellery, the Buddha, can't fault it to love them. So hopefully I'll see you again if um, you've enjoyed the video at all. Um, feel free to subscribe or visit our website www.antiquesarena.co.uk and look forward to seeing you on the next film.